So now our folders have the correct permissions. If we come over to the website and refresh, we should get an error. And you can see there it gives us a 500 internal server error. And that is because we don't have any key generated for this application. There's also a couple of other commands we need to run for deployment purposes as well. So let's get all them in place now. So the first thing we need to do is create that key. So we can do a PHP artisan key colon generate. And that'll generate an application key for our live application. Now if we head over to the Laravel docs, this will explain the other commands we need to run. I'm going to go over them here as well, but if you want to do a bit more reading on them, you can do. Come over to the docs under deployment. So you can see here we need to run composer install, which we've already done with no dev, but we've not optimized the autoloader yet. So let's do that now. So we can do a composer and we want to say dump hyphen auto load and then we want to pass it the O flag. So hyphen O and that'll dump the auto load and optimize it. You can see there now that's generated an optimized auto load file for us. So the final command here is to cache your roots. This is a good practice to do because it helps Laravel speed up the reading of the root file. The problem is if you have a closure within your roots, then this will not work because it can't serialize it. You can see there's a warning message here in the documentation about it. So it can't serialize closures. And because this application that we're testing the deployment with does use a closure in one of the roots, then we can't run this command. But if your application doesn't have closures, then obviously run that command. The one final thing just before we check this, we're just gonna do that config cache clear again, just to make sure that nothing's been cached so it's a php artisan config colon cache. See that's cleared the configuration for us. Let's give our website a refresh. And you see there we go, the website is up and running on our live server. So now that application's working, the final thing we need to do is obviously migrate our database. We're going to do a php artisan migrate. Now because I'm only demoing this, I'm going to see this as well. So we've got the test users in place. Obviously, if you were actually deploying this in production for any reason, then you wouldn't seed it as well. You'd just create your own admin users. So I'm just going to put dash dash seed on the end. You can see here I get a warning message saying, are you sure you want to do this? Because them default users will be in there and they'll be the same for everyone. But because I'm destroying this, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to say yes. And there's our migrations run. So let's check this out in the application. So for me, I'll have these default users now because I've seeded. So I'm going to log in. And you can see now we can now see our dashboard. So we know our application's working and it's talking to the database perfectly fine. So now our project's actually set up on the live server ready to go. The next step is to start creating our deploy script. So we're going to use Laravel Envoy for this. So it makes it easier to deploy our changes to the application.